So during the last outbreak of armed extremism, which is, of course was the BLM riots of 2020, and former Army sergeant called Daniel, P Daniel Perry was driving for Uber in Austin, Texas. He was an Uber driver. He's in his car and a mob of rioters surround him in the middle of the street and begin hitting his car. One member of the mob was a man called Garrett Foster. Foster is a militant with a history of waving his rifle at people. He approached Perry's driver's side window with an AK-47. Then he raised the rifle, and when he did that, Perry shot and killed him in self-defense. The lead detective in the case and the Austin police concluded it was a justified shooting. If that's not a justified shooting, there's no such thing. But because Austin, Texas, the justice system is overseen by a Soros-funded DA, Perry was charged with murder for defending himself. And tonight, we are sad to tell you, this man, a military veteran driving an Uber car, was convicted of murder. And what does that mean? It means that in the state of Texas, if you have the wrong politics, you're not allowed to defend yourself. So this is a legal atrocity. It's so obviously unjust that tonight we extended an invitation to the sitting governor of Texas, Greg Abbott, to come on this show on Monday. And we wanted to ask if he was considering a pardon for Daniel Perry. But for some reason, Governor Greg Abbott's office told us he just can't make it and that we should talk to the Attorney General of Texas, Ken Paxton, instead. So that is Greg Abbott's position. There is no right of self-defense in Texas. We're going to keep trying to reach the governor of Texas. The district attorney in Travis County says it is deeply troubling that Governor Abbott is trying to pardon a newly convicted killer. A jury in Austin found the killer guilty of murder Friday for the death of a protester in 2020. And Fox 4's Hannah Bataille here brings us up to speed. Hannah. Good morning, you guys. So Daniel Perry was accused of intentionally driving into a crowd during a Black Lives Matter protest a couple years ago, then shooting and killing one of the protesters. Perry and the victim, Garrett, were both legally carrying firearms. Now, there are conflicting accounts of who pointed a gun at the other first. But Governor Abbott said that the state's stand your ground law should have applied, which is why he requested the Board of Pardons and Paroles to determine if Perry should be granted a pardon. The jury in Perry's trial rejected claims of self-defense, likely taking cues from what was used as a major piece of evidence in the trial. Daniel Perry's social media posts, they indicated that he had some type of desire to engage in some type of violence with protesters. I've had a lot of people ask me, Rick, did the Daniel Perry jury get it right? I don't think in terms of a right verdict or a wrong verdict. I think you have to respect the process and you have to respect the verdict of the jury. Travis County DA Jose Garza seems to agree with that sentiment. He wrote in a statement yesterday that it is up to juries, not the governor, to decide whether defendants are guilty or not. Governor Abbott cannot order a pardon unless the Board of Pardons and Paroles recommends one. He is pressing that board to review Perry's case quickly. A judge, meantime, is expected to set a date for Perry's sentencing hearing later today. Reporting live in studio, I'm Hannah Batam. Back to you.